Haley Deegan is furious at her team, AM Racing, for sidelining her for the Chicago street race. And now things seem to be unfixable between the two as Haley announces her departure from the team. It's no secret that Deegan has not been performing well in her debut season. Just a few days before the Chicago race, AM Racing announced that Joey Logano would be piloting the number 15 car. To retaliate, Deegan completely removed AM Racing from her Twitter bio. This raised a few questions among fans. These questions have been answered with Haley Deegan's recent statement on social media. There's no doubt that AM Racing needed to do something to get back into the fight for the top 10 at the very least. Deegan's best result this season came at Talladega, where she finished 12th. But during the last race in Chicago, Joey Logano managed to put the same car in 8th place. Although this is not a top 5, he had to battle against other Cup Series drivers such as Kyle Larson and Ty Gibbs. 8th place is also the highest AM Racing has achieved this season. Logano has proven that the number 15 car has the potential to finish in the top 10 in every race. However, Deegan has been running last in almost every race this season. But just a few hours back, Deegan released the following statement on her social media handles. Beginning this season, I had a lot of excitement and hope in taking my next step in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. It's something I've been working towards for years and always dreamt about. I worked hard to prepare for this season after the team pursued me to drive their car. Unfortunately, it has not turned out the way that I expected. There are always several reasons within a race team as to why things do or do not work, but sadly our goals no longer align. With that being said, myself and AM Racing will be parting ways. The only thing I am focused on is getting back to being competitive. That is all that matters to me. I'm working as quick as possible to find the best opportunities to get back to the track. I'm thankful for the following that I have and everyone who supports me. It's truly only me that knows the whole story and what I need to succeed. See you at the track soon. Now that Haley Deegan is definitely not driving for AM Racing anymore, she does not have a lot of options. There is no doubt that there was tension between Deegan and the team. When she was initially replaced by Logano for the last race, Deegan had removed AM Racing from her social media bio. It's unclear if she did that because AM Racing had already communicated that they would be parting ways, or if she did that out of anger. If she had done it out of anger, it could be one of the reasons why the team decided to kick her out. Haley Deegan first came into the NASCAR Xfinity Series with incredible hype as she's the only female driver in the Xfinity Series, and only the second woman in NASCAR history. However, her performances failed to keep up the hype. After 17 races, she's still in last place in the points table among the full-time drivers. It was clear that AM Racing had to do something to start making some progress. Getting Logano in the car for Chicago seems to have been the first step. Here's what Wade Moore said about his decision to put Logano in the number 15. The level of competition in the Xfinity series is as competitive as it's ever been. Moore said in a release from the team, which will have primary sponsorship from Clutch Vodka on the number 15 entry this weekend. It is our goal at AM Racing to field a competitive race team through our technical alliance with Stuart Haas Racing and provide any of our drivers the best equipment and opportunity to be successful on track each weekend. With that being said, we haven't had the success on track that we were hoping for in the first half of the season. When the opportunity to have Joey in the car at Chicago became a possibility, we felt we needed to take advantage of the knowledge and feedback that a two-time NASCAR Cup Series champion could provide to our team's growth. AM Racing hoped that Logano would be able to help AM Racing gather some useful data to understand how they can improve their car. It looks like Logano was able to help them do so with his performance. Joey's 8th place finish is even more impressive when you find out that he only qualified 15th for the race. As he kept getting more laps, he was able to improve his performance and understand the car better. Here's what Logano had to say about why he accepted the call to drive the number 15 in the Xfinity series. They called me last week and said, hey, we got the seat here for the 15 that seems like it's going to open up, and do you want to drive it? Logano explained. I thought, well, I think so. Let me clear with my boss, Roger Penske, and make sure that's okay and there's no sponsor conflicts. Once I had all that cleared, it just seemed to make sense on really both ends. That's what a good deal is when it works on both sides of the deal. When you think about AM Racing, they were looking to have an experienced driver in there and kind of get an idea of where their program's at and see if I can help them from that perspective. I was looking at it and saying, man, I can get more laps on the Chicago street course. Can't be anything bad with that either. I felt like it was worth it to me. 
I went up to their shop and checked their cars out, and then was able to go back up, get the seat in there. Feel pretty good about it at this point, it should be fun. It's definitely a lot different than what I'm used to, and I haven't driven an Xfinity car since 2019. It's been a while since I've been in one. Last weekend marked Chicago's second race in NASCAR. Given that it is the first and only street race on the calendar, the data collected from the teams and drivers in previous races this season is almost irrelevant. Hence, every extra second spent on the track would have been helpful for the drivers. So when Logano was given the opportunity to drive in Xfinity on the streets of Chicago, he took it. However, Logano was not able to get a strong result on Sunday's Cup Series race. He only managed to finish 23rd. But coming back to Haley Deegan and AM Racing, now that Deegan is no longer racing for AM Racing, she will be looking for another team to get her back in the series. It's hard to imagine that any of the teams will want her in their car given her performance this season. Even in the truck series, Deegan's accomplishments were not impressive. Although she managed to get five top 10 finishes, she never managed to get into the top five. There's no doubt that there were some other factors in play to get her into the Xfinity series. Her sponsors probably got her promoted to the Xfinity series too quickly. If she had more time in the truck series to start getting into the top five in battle for race wins, her performance at Xfinity would probably have been better. Before the truck series, Deegan did manage to find success in the k and Pro Series. She managed to win three races and finished third in the championship during her second year in the series. Deegan is currently only 22 years old. She could still have years of racing left in her body. However, her sponsors put her in the Xfinity series before she was ready, and now she's paying the price for it. Her failure to perform in the Xfinity series this year could set back her entire career. She will most likely not be able to secure another spot on the series now that she has been let go by AM Racing. There were whispers within the racing community about Deegan's true level of talent. Some insiders suggested that she's been given preferential treatment and opportunities not afforded by other drivers of similar skill levels. And now all these whispers have proven to be true. Deegan does not possess the level of talent it takes to succeed in NASCAR. There's no doubt that connections are vital to help progress in motorsports. However, these connections will only take you so far. Deegan will now need to work on enhancing her skill set if she hopes to penetrate the barrier and secure a permanent spot in the Xfinity series once again. In a sport like NASCAR, we don't see many female motorsport drivers. Hence, when one arises from the horizon, there are several sponsors and teams looking to use female drivers to promote their brand and image. While some are successful and are able to progress further, others are not able to perform consistently in order to move forward. So far, things are obviously not looking good for her. There were some rumors circulating earlier stating that she would be driving for the Haas factory team next year, but Haas must be mad to make this happen. Regarding who will race for AM Racing in Pocono, we can expect AM Racing to make an informed decision in the coming days. They have the data collected from Logano, they have the data collected by Deegan from the previous races of the season. Now they have to decide who is more capable of putting the number 15 in the top 10 and top 5. Do you think we will see Haley Deegan race in the NASCAR Xfinity Series again? Post your thoughts in the comment section below.